Welcome to this lesson video. Today we'll be looking at Physical Sciences, Grade 11, Question 5, November 2015. That question is based on universal gravitation. That is Newton's laws and applications of Newton's laws. Let us start. This is the question paper we are looking at today. It's question five. Gravitational force exists between the sun and the earth. 5.1. State Newton's law of universal gravitation in weights. This is the answer to 5.1. The law says each particle in the universe attracts every other particle with a gravitational force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers. Pause the video, write this down, and then when you are done you can play the video. This law was extracted from exam guideline from the department of education so it is 100 percent correct the second question 5.2 this is a question whereby it requires us to calculate the mass of the sun is 380,000 times greater than that of the earth. Now it is very important. So the sun is 380,000 times greater than the earth, that is the mass of the sun. The distance between their centers of the distance between the centers of the sun and the earth is we have another value which is the distance between them then the question is saying calculate the gravitational force that the sun exerts on the earth now what is important is to know the proper equations to use and the proper values to use before we answer this question, let us go through a crash course on this chapter. What is important is to know that the mass of the earth is always given. When you look at your formula sheet, the table of constants, you will see that the mass of the earth is 5.98 times 10 to the power 24 kg. And then you are also given the radius, but in this question, we are only interested on the mass of the Earth. What is important again is to know the equation. Remember that this equation, you find it exactly the way it is from the formula sheet. Just make sure you write exactly the way it is from the formula sheet. Because if you can check other test books instead of R, the radius, you will see D. So just make sure that you write it like this. Now this equation, this F is the gravitational force between two particles or two objects. G is the gravitational constant which the value is 6,67 times 10 to the power negative 11 and then m1 is the mass of the first object m2 is the mass of the second object and then r is the distance between their centers so basically to calculate the gravitational force between two objects we need the mass of each object and then the distance between their centers then we'll be able to calculate the gravitational force now going back to our question 
you can see that we are given everything so what we need to do we just need to calculate the gravitational force Five point two. Now let us look at the data which we are given. So the mass of the Earth, we know that it's five comma nine eight times ten to the power twenty four kg. We can also say this is m one. And then the mass of the Sun. We know that the mass of the sun, they are saying it's 380,000 times greater than. So it will be the mass of the earth multiplied by 380,000. It will be in kg. We can also say this is M2. We can quickly calculate the mass of the sun or we can simply direct substitute into the equation and then we are given that the value of r which is the radius it's equals to 1,38 the radius between the two the radius from the centers of the two objects so we can go ahead and substitute we start with the equation always g is m1 m2 divided by r squared so f is equals to g we said it's 6,67 times 10 to the power negative 11 and then M1 it's the F which is 5,98 times 10 to the power 24 and then for the Sun for the Sun we can write it like this 380,000 multiplied by 5,98 times 10 to the power 24 The distance between them is 1,38 times 10 to the power 9 all squared. Then the gravitational force between the Sun and the Earth is 4,133 times 10 to the power 26 Newton. We are done with the first question. Actually, it was the second question I meant. Now let us look at 5.3. The question is saying how will the gravitational force that the Earth exerts on the Sun compare to the answer to 5.2? Write only greater than, less than, or equals to equal to give a reason for your answer give a reason for the answer now the, the the to explain this we need to understand another law of newton which is newton's third law newton's third law it's all about action reaction pair so we have the earth we have the sun we have the sun if the earth exerts a force of 4,133 times 10 to the power 26 newton to the sun irrespective of the mass and the distance between them the sun will also exert the very same magnitude but oppositely directed force 
to the earth. So the answer will be equal to. And then the resin is action reaction pair. For each and every action, there's a reaction in opposite direction. Now that's it for this question paper and also for this lesson video. This is Wahula SJ. Thank you very much.